That was a direct hit on Longinus. Yo, what's going on guys? I am back with a Beyblade mod. That's right. Um, so what I have right here is of course World Spriggan, arguably the most hyped release so far in Beyblade vs. Sparking. And I mean, come on, it's Spriggan, that's why. Um, super cool Beyblade, has a lot of gimmicks to it. Um, I mean, like the chassis has one, the layer has one. Everything is great on this Beyblade, but what if I told you I have a mod, in fact, a secret mod, that can make this Beyblade stronger than it already is. So yeah, this Beyblade's pretty OP, I have to admit. Um, so what you're gonna need for this mod, and this is actually very easy, straightforward to do, is just a tri-wing screwdriver. What's so special about this is that it has a triangle kind of wing design, which is special in that most Beyblade layers have these special screws that you really need to use this for, because if you don't, there's really no way to open up the layer. So we're gonna be going inside the layer and making a quick modification. But before we get to that though, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as well as the live streams that I've been making recently. Go check them out if you haven't already. And if you can, hit that like button and show your support. It really does help out a lot. With that being said though, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So we're only gonna need to look at the layer for today because like I mentioned, it's a really straightforward mod. Simple mod, it's a secret mod. So we're gonna put that to the side and now we have the layer. So if you flip it over, you're gonna see the left spin version or left spin mode, of course, but check out these four screws. Like I mentioned, they are tri-wing screws and we're gonna use our screwdriver to take them out carefully. My advice is to use some pressure, but also not too much because you do not wanna strip these screws. The screws are very much fragile in that they will strip and the minute you strip these screws they will be pretty much impossible to take out so we're going to keep it simple we're going to apply some pressure and they should come out fairly easily the first time might take some more work i'm just letting you know second time you do this they start to come out really easily all right so make sure you keep track of those screws though you don't want to lose them we're going to need them later of course but now what we can do is just take this apart and my advice is to flip it back to its right spin mode and just slowly take it apart so you should see it kind of just coming apart at the seams here we're gonna just carefully budge it open and don't worry if anything or some stuff falls out but this is the inside of the world spring and layer. Pretty intricate design, I have to say. But basically with the world spring and layer, it has a gimmick where these wings, which you can see now, have springs inside of them. And these springs allow for like a spring loaded gimmick. These wings come in, see that they get pushed in and then they create that burst stopper. So what I thought about for doing this mod is just taking these springs out for a couple of reasons. For one, taking them out is gonna have literally no resistance in the wings, which means that it's gonna get pushed in easier and therefore it's going to create in a burst stopper that will be way easier to do. So it will no longer need to be hit so much as just tapped and the wings will be pushed in. So I'm gonna do a better comparison once I put this back together but all you need to do is take out these two springs and please keep track of these because they are very small and you can lose them <laughs> very easily but with that out of the way the mod is complete all we need to do now is put it back together these wings fit back into place pretty easily just make sure they're lined up correctly and you should notice that they fit in place perfectly now we're gonna attach the top part again. Just make sure it's lined up correctly. And we have the world spriggan layer back together. All we need now is to put the screws back inside. So let's do that.
All right, now the layer is put back together, modded, of course. But let me go ahead and do a comparison. All right, I have my other world sprig in here, and we're just gonna take a look at the layer. And let me show you the difference. So on the right is unmodded. Check out these wings. Get pushed in and they come back out. It's a spring loaded burst stopper. These little parts here get in the way of the disc and they prevent it from bursting. That's how it works. But if we take out the springs, there's no longer that resistance. So these wings will just kind of wiggle around pretty easily and it doesn't take a lot to push it in. So they get pushed in and you're just gonna create that burst stopper way easier by just adding more burst resistance to this layer. And so everything works the same way, put it back together. All right, so it's put together now, but if I push in these wings with my fingers and try to take it apart, it's nearly impossible. So picture this, but in a battle, this thing will most likely not budge, which is a good thing. We don't want this to burst. It's springing, it should be OP. Anyway, that is it for this close up. We need to get our stadium though and we're gonna do some test battles for you guys just to show you how much better it is. All right, so without further ado, we are gonna get started with battles involving this modded World Spriggan. So it's gonna work the same way. You just launch it like any other Spriggan. I mean, it just gets on the launcher and you launch. So performance, or at least movement wise, I don't think it's gonna change much. As long as you keep it in its stock combo, you will be fine. Um, one thing I do want to change though is put this into the free spinning mode just for the memes. So here we go. Ooh, crazy hits. Somehow Curse Satan won that. All right, we got a nice knockout right off the bat. All right, ooh, that was a hard hit right off the bat. So if I haven't done this already, I'm gonna keep track of the clicks on World Spriggan just in case, uh, or you know, just to see if the mod is working. I mean, so far it hasn't bursted, that's for sure. And yep, we didn't even get a click. Nice, <laughs> that was a really sick, clean knockout, no clicks. All right, can Ragnarok put up a fight? I don't think it can. Oh, quick knockout. Yeah, that was just another clean knockout. Unite is really putting in the work. We are getting some strong hits here right off the bat with King Helios. But now King Helios did go towards the center. It's gonna come down to a stamina match, that's for sure. All right, who's gonna take this? Sorry, I'm gonna to switch to the left spinning mode in a short while. King Helios won that, surprisingly. Oh, 
Oh, no way. King Helios came back inside the stadium. Can it keep going? That's the question. I don't think so. It doesn't have much stamina left. If it makes contact, it might be able to still spin, but it does not look like it's going to happen. Strong hits all around with Tempest Dragon. I am still not a fan of Charged Metal, and you can't convince me otherwise. Spriggan took that though, not a single click. Ooh, that was a quick counterattack by Spriggan. All right, we're getting some head-on contact. So many direct hits. Dragon has now awakened, quote unquote. And it looks like Dragon took that somehow. Not even a click on Spriggan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this mod is working its magic. I'm convinced. Ooh. Quick counter by Spriggan. No clicks. Okay, I think now's a good time to switch to the left spinning mode. Of course, I am gonna keep it in the free spinning chassis just because I want to. And it's gonna help out a lot with LED anyway, so it's best to keep it that way. Longinus is just hanging in there to not get knocked out. Oh, until finally he did. No clicks. Jeez, that was a direct hit on Longinus. Ouch, I felt that. No clicks. My goodness. Finally, Longinus got a win. So if I didn't mention this already, I do think this mod is working. We just got a knockout. Um, because it's not really budging at all. Like, the clicks are not budging. That was like a one-shot counterattack. Another quick counter. Ooh. Fafnir did not stand a chance. And it looks like no clicks. Oh my goodness. You guys see that Fafnir jumped back into the stadium. The fight is not over yet. Fafnir is back with a vengeance. I think the next few opponents are going to be interesting. Oh, you guys see that hit. Okay, it looks like we got finally one click. All right, I may have launched Fafnir a little weak there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was very fair on my part. Fafnir got wrecked and no clicks. Oh no, I'm gonna try launching it anyway. It might work. That was a nice draw. Jeez, first Uranus got a win on Spriggan. Wow. A 
Looks like Uranus is hanging in there. It was picking up some speed at first. By the way, my Mobius driver is very much awakened, if you will. Um, I don't even know how. Like, it just, like, started going super aggressively around the stadium. And it's coming down to a stamina battle. Who is going to take this? Uranus took it. All right, this battle's gonna be intense. I know it will. Oh. Hyperion got that knockout. Oh. Looks like Hyperion is picking up speed as always. See, I would argue Hyperion's still one of the best stock Super King Beyblades. Um, the driver exceed is pretty unique. I don't even know if it's good for attack competitively, but it has good LED, it's fast, gets hits in. Overall, it's a really solid Beyblade, for sure. Who's gonna take it? Man, it's gonna be close. And Hyperion took that. Jeez, I think Hyperion took that one though. Not even a click on Spriggan, whereas Hyperion got two clicks. Oh. That was weird. It looked like Lucifer had a counterattack built in. And then the minute it happened, Spriggan took it like a champ. And now it's going to come down to stamina. Lucifer might have a chance if it manages to make contact within the next couple seconds, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Finally a good battle with Lucifer. It is so hard to use Lucifer if I didn't mention it already. Mobius is crazy, first of all and 2D is very much hard to control as well. We got a mirror match going on. Who is gonna take this? And of course, Lucifer took that. I don't even know what happened, but I'm gonna give it to Spriggan. And we got one click, not bad. All right, here we go. <laughs> Valkyrie got the W. I'm not even surprised. Oh, those hard shots. But no, Valkyrie still got the win. There we go. Finally, a good counter by Spriggan. And we got that knockout. No clicks. All right, this will be a really interesting battle because we're going to do a mirror match. Modded is left spin, unmodded is right spin, if you guys weren't aware. Give us some hard hits. And yes, I did pull the rare chassis. Um, <laughs> typically, like I told myself I would sell it if I pulled it, but with Spriggan, it was very much um, special to me. So there's that. Who is going to win? And it looks like left spin took it. Ooh, look at that. That was clean. Straight up Unite kicking in. No clicks. There we go. They are matching each other in power. Ooh, look at those hits. It's coming down to stamina though.
who will take this one? I want to call that a draw. All right, you just saw the battles and you could tell right away that the burst resistance is a lot better. I mean, it was already good to begin with, but they just made it like 10 times better. <laughs> so this thing will not burst with this mod. It's just an extra secret mod you can do to up your game. Granted, it is illegal for tournaments, so keep that in mind. Um, but one other cool thing I wanted to do for you guys is to show you that this mod is indeed reversible. So at any point, if you no longer want to use this mod, you can go back to the original World Spriggan layer. And in a way, it's not really damaging your parts. You could probably use this in a tournament again, so long as you put it back together how it was. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take this apart for the third time now, or for the second time. And just like last time, we're gonna see the inside here. Now the key to putting it back together is there's gonna be these little nubs here that when you take one of the springs that you took out, all you're gonna do is put it back in that little kind of peg and let it just sit there. It's gonna be positioned pretty well. And you're gonna do your best to line it up where it should sit like so. So this is pretty easy to reverse. Um, and just make sure that you don't mess with it too much. You don't want the springs to bounce out and get lost. Um, so let me just carefully put this back in. And then we're just gonna do the same for the other wing. So once you get it carefully put back together, you're gonna to see that the gimmick goes back to normal. So all that's left is to put these screws back on. So there you have it. Your World Spriggan should be back to normal and it's no longer modded. So it is definitely a mod to try out, especially because you can always reverse it at any time and just as a little bit more fun for your battles. Anyway, that is it for this mod. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more with World Spriggan. I've got more planned. Um, it's gonna be great. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Whew. <sighs>